Luca, say, hey vlog, come spend a day in my life as a mini golden doodle. Can you say that for me? No, we just, are you good just like that? Oh, I should be. Okay. Oh, oh, da 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 da, making our Christmas memories. What's up guys, happy Vlogmas day 10. This video is so special to me and one that you guys have been asking for for a very long time. If you're new to the channel, what's up? My name's Ashley, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stick around for my 12 days of Ashley's Starbucks Vlogmas giveaways. I'm gonna be announcing last video's winner and also your video prompt for our next Starbucks giveaway. Hey guys, what's up? It's Ashley. And Alan. And Luca! <laughs> okay, so YouTube and Google keeps telling me that y'all want to see more of Luca and you want pup dates and you want to know all about him. And I just realized that the last time I gave you a pup date was when he was three months old. Can you believe that, Alan? Was it really that long ago? Yeah, it was, it was a 12-week pup date. So oh, much geez. has changed. Not much of his weight, to be honest. He's still... Some assembly required. Some <laughs> Alan always says some assembly required when... <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so cute, but so much has changed. Luca is over a year old. He's almost a year and a half old, and he's just still our little pumpkin, but so much has changed. We thought we would take you a day in the life of our little mini golden doodle. It all starts when Luca wakes up, or we try to wake Luca up. This is what we call Luca's little nest. It's under our day bed in my office, and he always He'll sleep in our room, either in his little bed or in our bed, but then in the morning, he rushes to his nest and he tries to come out under here. He goes all the way under the, the bed. You gotta go outside, little bear. We're doing a day in your life. Oh. Okay, we gotta wake him up. The key to waking him up, honestly, is getting out his leash, but he only likes this one. He really does not like his harness, but we need to use his harness when he's going on long walks because you just gotta, because it's better for them, you know? This is his bougie little jacket. This is, it's like pretend Burberry. It was like $10 online. When he really comes out of the nest, it's because of this orange one, because he knows when I take out this orange one, it's because he's going to his daycare and he's obsessed with his daycare. But today, mommy's working from home, so you get to stay with me, Luca. Luca. So if I can't get him out, this is what we have to do. Come here, bear. You're such a good bear. Oh, she's oh, she's puppy. I don't know if this is all golden doodles, but Luca is super, super sleepy in the morning. Go go sleep real quick. Oh, the best baby in the whole world. Oh. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Ashley, and this is Luca, and he's my little son. I say that he is a human that just happens to look like a dog. He's the most cuddly, loving little bear on the planet. Ooh. And I love when he puts his paw on me. Oh. Okay, bear, we gotta go outside. Selfishly in the morning and at night is my favorite, favorite time because he's so cuddly and warm and lovely. And he lets me treat him like my little baby, right, Luca? Mm. Okay, we're gonna go outside and then we'll check back. Oh, good bear. Whoa! Every time we go outside, because it's so wet, we have to put a towel down, and then he's so good at it. We just wipe his little pawsy. Yeah. He's like, why are these strangers invading our home, Ma? They just want to see what you're like, because they want to see if they want a little Luca bear, which you definitely do. Luca is our pride and joy, and I'm, oh, I'm just so in love with him. Days where I get to work from home are so special, because... I just love checking in on my little bear. That's what I call him. You'll also find that you're gonna give your dog 5,000 nicknames that are not his name. Yes. Luca Bear, Monkey Bear, my little baby. What are your other nicknames? Oh, and he always gets like eye crusties. That's one thing. We have to clean out his eyes a lot and I already see a little, little eye crusty that we're gonna have to clean out. He gets that multiple times a day. So we're gonna clean that out. And then what's gonna happen is he's just gonna go right back into his nest while we make his breakfast. He knows I'm the most obsessed with him ever. My fiance is also obsessed with him, but I'm like more. Cause he's my baby. See that big eye crusty? Okay, we gotta get that out. So as I said, this is work from home day. So working in my little office right here and let me tell you, Luca is the best little coworker. He just stays in his little nest. 
I don't even know if you can see him. Can you see him? Oh, he's just so good. He just stays there pretty much the entire time. Sometimes he will go and look out at the window and do a little barking or eat his little bone. For the most part, he just sleeps all day. During lunchtime, I'm gonna go make my lunch and his little lunch, but he'll probably honestly just stay in his nest. What you doing? Hi, little bear. Okay. So for food, we switched a few months back to the Jinx brand, and this is basically, it's supposed to be a much healthier food, like as if it's real human food dried up in pebble form. So it's supposed to be organic and a lot healthier. So this is just kind of what it looks like. Luca's still on the puppy version, and he will end that this month and switch to the adult version. But I was recommended this by my sister-in-law, and it's supposed to be the healthiest type of kibble type food because it's just real food hydrogenated into pebble form and it's supposed to be easier for dogs. In terms of treats, we have just little little baby treats we still use. And a few times a week, he has these little dental sticks as well. It's supposed to be good for scraping up the buildup, freshens breath and cleans teeth. It is very hard to clean Luca's teeth, so those are absolutely essential. We do mix his little kibble with some pumpkin and we just get this from the grocery store in a can. And pumpkin is supposed to be really good for dogs and it makes him eat his food a lot more. But honestly, even our vet said, golden doodles, they're just finicky. They're very picky, they're very smart. So Luca chooses to eat whenever he feels like eating. There's not a rhyme or reason to it, honestly. If we ever put like a little cheese on it or a little whipped cream or whatever, he smashes it, but obviously you don't want it get your dog in the groove of that. I would be curious if you guys use raw meat and kind of wet food, because obviously I'm sure it's so much easier for your dog to eat that way. They probably smash it, but we just figured long-term, just it's just easiest and probably the most convenient to do the pebble. Come here, bear. All right, so during lunch, I like to try to take him on a walk. It has started snowing, so we gotta make sure that we've got his little Little jacket on, I can't believe it's snowing, oh my God. But it's so hard to get Luca to go on a walk. It's always so weird, because he just hates his harness, but he loves going on walks, like he's the ultimate walker. He just hid in his room, hold on, let's go find him. Oh, hi, what you doing? Oh, that's his position of defeat. Hi, bear. Oh, are you such a good boy? You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go outside? We're gonna say, let's go. Come on, Luca. Come here. Luca. Oh, jeez. See, he sees the snow. He sees the rain. Okay. All right, Luca. Okay, we're just gonna. Come here. Come here, bear. Okay. Like I said, once he's actually outside, he freaking loves it. But I hate having to take him out in the cold. Okay, you ready? Come here, Luca. Whoa. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. We are excited because we're also ordering him an air tag collar. And I just love this because he's just too fast. So I love the idea of, obviously he is microchip, and do have a little name tag for him with Luca and then my information on the back, but I am excited for this little monkey to be air tagged as well. If you can do it, why not? Okay, ready? Are you ready? Okay. Whoa. Oh. Okay. He's actually very good at putting his little sweaters on. He doesn't seem to mind his little sweaters, probably because we know we keep them warm. Luca is also super obedient. Like anytime, Alan's word is wait, wait, he, he'll wait. And anytime we're like doing something, obviously you just saw him like run away <laughs> from his harness. That's kind of the only thing he like runs away from. But other than that, he's just super obedient. And I think it's because he knows that Alan and I just love him so much and that we've got his back. So he's just like, okay, my mommy and daddy know what's best for me. Right, Luca? Are you ready? <laughs> oh, that's a cute thumbnail. Ready? Luca, smile at the camera. All right, guys, let's go on a walk. Uh, Good be. Oh, look at that snow. <laughs> Luca, Luca, let me see your snow. Uh, let's go, Luca. When it's not snowing or wet and muddy outside, sometimes on my break, we live so close to a dog park, and we'll just go to the dog park and I'll run around, and that's so good for me to get all his runs out during lunch. And there's not a lot of people at the dog park during that time, so I love it. Luca actually prefers the big dog section to the little dog section, but also it's just like, they're such little biters, those little dogs. So he loves being with this little big dog family. Oh, he's doing number two. Good job. I obviously have these little poo bags that you always want to make sure you have attached to your little thing. Luca, are you down there? Oh my gosh. Luca literally wouldn't even let me take off his 
harness and his sweater before running back into his nest. This dog, like myself, we are just not cold weather people like at all. And I was thinking about this and you know how they have tracks for humans like inside? I wish they had tracks for dogs too because I would love to take him running and all those things, but I just don't wanna do it out in the cold. It is so cold. We do not like the cold. But one thing that is a huge pet peeve is when people do not pick up their dog doo-doo. Like you should always have a little bag attached to your leash and you should pick it up every single time. I get every now and then if you accidentally run out of bags or whatever, but the amount of people that I have seen just leave doo-doo everywhere I'm calling it doo-doo. It's just, it boils my blood. Honestly, even times where we accidentally run out of bags, me and Alan will run back to our house, get a bag, and go back to the spot and pick it up. Like, that is how serious we are. So if you wanna own a dog, if you wanna own a mini golden doodle, make sure you always have poo bags. I'm gonna put the links to those and everything that we use for Luca that he loves in the description below as well. Honestly, Luca will probably just stay in his nest the entire time for the rest of the time I'm working, so it's, it's very chill. That dog just loves knowing a human being is home. It just makes him feel so much more grounded. So we'll check back in after work. We'll see if he eats anything. And Alan will be home and he'll give his little pup date for you guys. Hi Luke, you're such a good bear. You're such a good bear. You, you're so tired today. You're so tired. You just never know if he's gonna be running around or just laying in his little bed. But he loves this little bed. If you guys were around, oh my gosh, he's so tired. I love just laying with him right here. But if you guys were around for his three month pup date, I showed you this kind of feathery type of bed and he com and he completely destroyed that. So you need a bed that doesn't have like feather things coming out of it. And this one is so perfect for him. I don't wanna put the light on him, but he's just like me where he loves the dark. So when we're going to sleep at night, he tries to go like this and get under our covers. <laughs> we both are like, we need eye masks. You can see his head is just like in this little crevice. Oh, and then he's a little deer, puts his feet up. Hi, bear. Oh, you're just such a sweet bear. Are you the sweetest little bear? Are you the sweetest? He's the best. Why are people so obsessed with mini golden doodles? Exhibit it. Why wouldn't you be obsessed? All right, guys. So work is complete and Luca is awake and you can tell he's awake because Alan just grabbed a treat and he is ready to go. Sit. He has learned some tricks. So he's learned tricks, he can sit, he can lay, he can stand up, he could do his little, little moonwalk. Are you hungry, Luca? So sometimes if we don't have any pumpkin, we'll just put a little water in this. Or if he's been a really good boy and because I've made him be the star of this video, he gets a little bit of cheese. He still loves that little contraption where he eats the food out of the little container. He still does love that. So I highly recommend those little games. It's so good for their minds. So one big thing, that a lot of people might not know if they don't have a doodle yet is that doodles need to be stimulated so much with not only their physicality, like they need to run a lot, they just need to be outside a lot. They also need mental stimulation. So if you have those little kind of board stimulus games, that's really good. If you have those little nest games where they're trying to get something out of the nest, that's also really good. I'm going to include all of the things I recommend that Luca still loves to this day in the description so you guys can just grab them there. And of course, he obviously loves those elk antlers and yak chews. Come here, sit for mama. Sit, lay, can you stand up? Can you show them how you dance? Whoa. It's like, what's happening? Why is there a camera? <gasps> okay, good bear, good bear. And then he runs away and he brings it over to his bed. I'm sorry, this is so weird. I'm following you with the camera, I understand that. So Luca still loves this. I don't even know what this is called, like a little contraption thing. And this is so good for their mental stimulation. And we just put his normal food in and I'm gonna put a little of the cheese in and he will just go to town. And it keeps them occupied for a few minutes. So if you're working, depending on your dog, this could take them a, a bit of time. And I'm gonna put some in my description so you guys can grab them from there but they love this you don't even need to put treats in this you could literally just put normal food and they just think it's the coolest thing right look look up here oh there you are <laughs> you gonna do it he's like get out of here tmz okay i'll let you go i'll just be over here in the corner spying on you he forgot he has a treat in there he does not like that i'm filming him all right i'm gonna give you your space okay 
You're just the best boy. We are family. So the last time we chatted, Luca was five pounds, Alan. I mean, if he was three <laughs> months old, that makes sense. He was maybe five or six, yeah. And now he's a whopping. 11 point something, two pounds or something like that. He's pretty much done. He just was like, he's the smallest one of all of them. And he just is like, nope, I'm gonna own it. I'm gonna own it. <laughs> His siblings, we do kind of still keep in touch with the siblings and they, most of them are over 20 pounds. And the little dog we are going to get, for those of you who have been along since day one, She's over 25 pounds, so she's... I think she's right at 25. She's, she's more than double Luca! But Luca is just so sweet. Like, we're obsessed with him, aren't we, Ellen? Yeah, he's a good boy. His demeanor is just so... He's, like, so chill right now. I mean, sometimes he does run around and whatnot. I mean, you get him going, he'll run around, play, oh. chase things. Oh. You know, he'll rough house. But obviously I'm obsessed with him. Alan, you're pretty obsessed with him, too. Yeah, he's a good boy. Oh. Bye, Luca. And he just crawled into bed. He's like, nope, <laughs> this is relaxed time. All right, well, while we give you shots of Luca, real quick, Alan, let's talk about his sleeping because the last update we gave, he was sleeping in his crate and we were trying to be cool and teach you how to crate train. That lasted for maybe a month. Yeah, then he ended up in bed and now he has his own bed. He's really good about laying in his own bed. But if he yeah. gets uncomfortable or feels like cuddling, he'll jump in our bed in the middle of the night. Oh, I started working the morning show and then I'd work evenings, so we just kept waking Luca up when he was in the crate. That's yeah, honestly that how was, it started. Yeah, that was weird, because you know, yeah. or I'd get up at 6 a.m. and he'd want out, but it was hard to put him back in because she was still sleeping. Now we're pretty much on the same schedule, which is great. We both wake up around five or, you know, just depending. Either way, Luca wakes up around 5, 6 a.m. I think we're just obsessed with him, so hearing him whine and stuff was just, we just failed. We failed at crate training and we don't care. I wouldn't say we failed. There was a point where he got used to it, but then I think we just cracked and yeah. it was nearly impossible to go back. Alan, are there any surprises of having a little mini golden doodle that you think people should know if they're considering getting a golden doodle? Just their personality. Like it, 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 all, it never fails to amaze me. Like I talk to people with different animals, anything for, you know, the common one is a dog, but there are people out there with like birds and horses and. They always talk about how animals have a very specific personality and it's no different for something like him and he's just he's got his own personality. He's he's funny at times, he's mm -hmm. he's quirky, he's you know, he's playful, he's he's all the things you would expect a dog, but it's just kind of in his own unique way, I guess, is the best way to put that. Would you recommend getting a golden doodle? Heck yeah. Such a chill dog. And he's so <laughs> well behaved. Like he's such a smart dog. Like legit. <laughs> One of the best things is like he grabs onto things that I try to teach him. He loves family walks. We try to do it a few times a week at night where we yeah. all go on a family. And he loves just grabbing a stick. He yeah, just... I call it his walking stick. He <laughs> literally picks it up and just walks with it. He doesn't like, and then if he sets it down and you go to walk away, he like runs back to grab it. And he's just so cute. And his favorite toy that he has loved that is held up has been his elk antlers and yak chews that we recommended in our first videos. And that's actually from Alan's sister's company, which is Devil Dog Petco. Great antlers and the yak chews are um, essentially goat's milk, uh, cow's milk, lime juice, and salt and they press it together into a hard chew and it takes them hours and hours to go through. So, and then at the end, when they get really small, you put them in the microwave and they blow up like a puff tree. Once we actually had to grab one from PetSmart and your sister's was fire. Your sister's was such oh, higher yeah, it wasn't quality. Even it's like the not same. even a question. And it yeah. was like, like he's got antlers he's been chewing on for months. And I mean, he grabs them pretty regularly, but he went through that one in like a few days. Yeah. So it's just not the same density, which is what makes them last longer from like a healthy, natural animal. This is my favorite way to hold Luca. He's so used to it. But most of the time I just go like this, like he's my little baby. I say he's a human that just so happens to look like a dog. It's a very furry human. He's a very, very furry human. He looks completely different when he gets a haircut but he's such a good baby. He looks like a toy right now. Like I'm looking in the camera and he just looks like a toy. He looks like a little teddy bear. Lastly, I think the biggest thing Luca has brought into my life is just so much warmth and peace and love. He's such a little empath like myself. And I just feel like he knows when I'm sad about something. He knows when I'm happy about something. Like he's just the absolute best. 
and as silly as this sounds i honestly could not picture my life without him and i don't i sound like a parent to a child but i can't also picture my life before him and i just think he came into our lives at the right moment we highly suggest mini golden doodles it is much easier obviously taking care of him with my little life partner so that's something to think about with your schedule if this dog is something you're considering. They're not dogs that you want to leave alone for, you know, eight to 10 hours a day. Luca goes to daycare once a week to get some social interaction. And like I said, he goes to the dog park and we love going on walks. But overall, I will go down saying that the Golden Doodle breed is just the best. And wait, I didn't forget today's Vlogmas giveaway. Last video prompt was, what is one thing you are doing to really calm the noise around you and take some time for yourself this holiday season? The winner today is Anna Z. Anna Z writes, one thing that calms me around the holidays is taking some time off for myself and heading to the gym, whether it's by myself or for a friend. Congratulations, Anna. Definitely email me and we'll get you that holiday drink on me. All right, for your next chance to win, subscribe to the channel and for your next Vlogmas Starbucks question of the day is, what's one thing you learned about Luca today and do you now want a mini golden doodle or do you have a golden doodle? Share all your tips and tricks below of what they love. And we can't wait to hear from you guys. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more of Luca, let us know what you want to see. He is just our little rising star. We love you guys so much. Thanks so much for supporting our channel. Say bye, Luca. Say that's been a day in my life. Bye, Vogue. Happy holidays. Da, 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 da. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately